Yo, what's up guys? I'm super excited to do this video. I mentioned in yesterday's video that I might end up photoshopping myself to see what I look like with freeform dreadlocks. So I'm really excited to do this video. Hopefully you guys are too, because yesterday I was actually looking at uh, photos of people with freeform dreadlocks and I just thought they're so cool. I really love freeform dreadlocks. I'm actually screen recording right now. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing a Photoshop of what I would look like with dreadlocks. And this is just a perfect way if you know how to use Photoshop or any other photo editing app or you know <clears throat> software, this is a great way to figure out what you would look like with certain hairstyles. So if you wanna dye your hair, there's actually certain apps you can go to and uh, download to see um, what you would look like with dyed hair or what you would look like with you know dreadlocks or a different hairstyle So in this video, I am going to be trying out freeform dreadlocks So first and foremost we have to go and find a picture of first a set of freeform dreadlocks that I think are really cool that I like and then recreate that image and then put the freeform dreadlocks on top of me I might have to take a photo of myself or I will just find an image of myself if it fits perfectly and we'll just rock with it. So let's get straight into it. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Google Chrome and then look up some free form dreadlocks. Look, how to get free form dreadlocks popped up first and I have a sponge in that picture and that's just because back then a lot of people thought that you get free form dreadlocks with a sponge. Let me debunk a myth for you guys. Free form dreadlocks are only done by allowing them to freely form. So you don't use a sponge. But let's see, Knotlocks has some really dope free forms. I like the way these look. They're kind of like Basquiat's. And I'm really just looking for some free form dreads that I think my hair would turn out to look like that, or just some that I think look really cool. So let's see what we can find right here. These actually look really dope. I like when they all kind of go up together. These are really interesting. These are super flat and um, yeah, a lot of people actually don't have their hair like this. Let's see, I like J. Cole's. I think it would be cool to see what my hair looks like with J. Cole's hair, but I would definitely want a better quality image of him. Um, Nigel Houston had some really cool freeform dreadlocks. He was one of my inspirations to getting dreadlocks, so that's really cool. Bob Marley's hair at the beginning was super cool. But yeah, I think I really, really, really like how J. Cole's dreads looked, so I'm gonna look up some J. Cole images. Then we'll do that. And this is actually when I did a video on him. That was the stage his hair was at, but I liked the stage with the afro at the bottom with the free forms. And then it started hanging a little bit, but I do want to go with when his hair was standing up. Comment down below who has your favorite set of free form dreadlocks. And to say you're one of those people that doesn't like free form dreads, comment down below who you think has the best dreadlocks, whether if they cut them already or if they still have them. I just want to see what you guys think. This image would be nice if there's a high quality one. Yeah, this would be good. I'm gonna try this one. We'll download this. I just gotta make sure to take a picture that looks uh, similar to this. This is actually a really cool image as well. So yeah, his dreads look dope right here too. Let's try this one too, just in case. Yeah, J. Cole has such a dope style, man. I haven't even seen any newer images of him, but these dreadlocks are super clean. I love freeform dreadlocks. Okay, let's just rock with the ones that I just got. And this is gonna be pretty simple once I take it into Photoshop. So I'm gonna open up my Adobe Photoshop CC 2019. This is what I use all the time. I love this app. So I need to look at these images and see which image would be the best. These are the two images that I'll try to recreate. This one on the right is probably gonna be a little bit easier because his face is open, there's not any dreadlocks in it, but I mean, there's only a couple on the left side that are hanging in front of his face. So let's see, I'm gonna grab my phone and take an image. You guys can probably see in the background, I actually made my desk a floating standing desk and I have a video coming out on that. I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna release it, but I'll keep you guys updated on that. I'm just going to try to match the way his head is facing so that it makes it easy to mesh everything together. All right, anyway, we're gonna take this photo. It's gonna look a little off. The left one will actually be easier because it's more of a wide shot, so he has his face like this. Oh yeah, that's the one right there. <laughs> now that I got the images, I'm just gonna airdrop these to my computer, and then we'll get the show started. Okay, so now that I have all the images that I need, I'm just gonna import everything into here. I would never take a selfie like this in real life, never again. Drop the J. Cole images in there. 
So I'm just gonna put my head on his body rather than putting his hair on my head, which will make it a whole lot easier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make these invisible and then I'll drop the opacity down and then I'm gonna scale this down to the size that I think would fit perfect. And we'll see if it's a good match. Looks pretty close. So that's pretty close right there. Yeah, it's like almost identical. So we'll see, we'll see how this goes. Go ahead and keep it like that. I'm gonna select my face. I'll select my hair too. So I'll just copy and paste this and shut this off. So the angle is a little off, I'm seeing that now. You just want the heads to be the same size. So let me just taper off my neck. But yeah, the goal is to match everything. I'm just gonna go ahead and do all the correcting as far as what the levels look like. I have too much highlights, so I need to bring down the output levels and even everything out. Mess with the contrast just a little bit. Boost the vibrance and the saturation to match. Yeah, the toughest thing about doing this is there's two different lenses that are being used. The iPhone lens is tough to use to match it to what everyone else is using. But we'll just roughly do it. We'll see how this works. I'm zooming out to see if it looks natural and then I'll go in and then, you know, make everything look the way it's supposed to. I'm like, like looking at it right now, I'm not sure how this is gonna work out. It's not terrible, I'll say that. I'm just pulling all this stuff in so that it fits behind the face that I have on there. It's gonna look weird right now. Yeah, this looks weird. Anyway, I'm just gonna see what the backdrop looks like. Okay, that's good. Yeah, like the face is too big on there. That's the thing. Like trying to match, that's the toughest part. The length of the lens that they are using is way different. But we'll see, maybe I can still pull it off. This makes me look like I have a big forehead in this picture. This is like the love-hate of Photoshop, trying to figure out how to do certain things like this. <laughs> yeah, this looks funny. But I mean, it's like, it's, I don't know if it's practical or if it matches. I still need to do this really quick. I, yeah, we'll definitely try the other image too to see, you know, what everything looks like. This looks funny, you guys. This makes me look like I have a long neck. Yeah, this is a fail. We're gonna try something else. But hey, we'll keep it just in case. Let's try this one out. Yeah, I think this one's just gonna be a little easier, but we'll see. Save myself the time, I'm just gonna take his dreadlocks off. It'll be so much easier. You guys are about to see the power of pine saw. Maybe. Now that's looking a little more realistic. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna scale these up so I don't, not distracted by the background. Does look pretty silly, but all I have to do is just do some adjustments. I think we're getting somewhere, looks kind of weird, but and it's the best one we got so far compared to, let's see, I'm gonna merge this. So we have this one, which I think is 100 times better. And then we have this one. This one just looks wrong. I don't know what the deal is. My face is like too far forward or something like that. Maybe if I adjust something and try this. Yeah, I think that looks okay. I think this one just looks weird because I know that's not my body. This one's throwing me off too, honestly. But yeah, I mean, I mean, that's decent. This gives me an idea, kind of. Like, this one gives me a good idea, or a better idea of what everything would look like. But yeah, I mean, this is what I do sometimes when I want to see what a certain hairstyle looks like or anything like that before I actually do it. So I mean, you guys can do this too, but I definitely wanted to see what everything looked like as far as, you know, what I would look like with freeform dreadlocks. And I think J. Cole's are really dope. So hopefully this video turned out great. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, I think this is the second video I've done of something like this. If you guys want to see more of this, definitely comment down below and, and let me know. Other than that, guys, I will see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.